everybody from around the world to a new, our new interview with Hemp Engineering. Today we have the great pleasure of having Mr. Javier Hidalgo. Um, we are broadcasting from Perth, Australia. Mr. Javier is in, in close to Bogota, Colombia. Um, we have our new partner in this new journey, uh, Dakota Moore in Oklahoma, the United States. Welcome, Javier. Welcome, thank you for the interview. And uh, I'm ready for your questions. Absolutely. Um, tell us about yourself, Javier. How did you end up in the cannabis business? Okay, I entered in, in, in this business uh, in first time uh, through the self-growth, the self-cultivation, because in my country, in Colombia, uh, this is allowed by the law. The TV law of the 1986 allowed that every, every citizen uh, in Colombia uh, can have uh, 20 plants, okay? 20 plants? Yes, since uh, eight, 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 nine, in 1986, uh, since this year, for every every Colombian citizen is allowed. Uh, yeah. in, in, I want you to yeah. know, I want you to know that in Perth, Australia, you are you grow one plant and you're caught by the police and you destroy your life. Okay. <laughs> in 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 Colombia is different since the 80s and it's spectacular because for this reason I start to self-grow in my grandma's house, Estelita. Uh, my, my grandma, Estelita, allowed it for me to start a self-row. And through the self-rowing, I have certain experience. And that experience are mixing with my studies because I am agricultural engineering of the National University of Colombia. And I have a master's degree in rural development. So this you experience, know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this this is this experience have a, a, a form like a formal job in 2015 because the Colombian government uh, put other law about the medical cannabis cultivation. In the in this law in this law uh, along with the medical the medical uh, crops uh, with many permission but is allowed. For this reason, uh, since uh, 2017, I start like a head grower of the La Santa. La Santa is a Colombian cannabis company. Mm -hmm. And uh, with La Santa, we have 34 strange legally registered in front of the Colombian government. And this is important because uh, if you don't have this registration, these permissions, uh, don't don't have a start any growth. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. And uh, for um, for for the same reason, we have two business line: uh, clones for CBD or or THC strains for other companies, other companies that do, that don't have a seed, don't have a strains, and a sell the and sell uh, the Colombian land race for the uh, self grow self cultivations in Colombia. This is fantastic, um, Javier, because as I understand, uh, yesterday the Colombian government has passed a new law or reconfirmed the law or a new law in regards to, to Cañamo, to him. Um, yes. This opens um, extraordinary opportunities for Colombia to reaffirm the vanguard that has, he has held for years in the cannabis business or the marijuana business, I guess is the right word. Um, yes. yes. The, the, actual, the actual government, after the, the gremial pressure, because all the cannabis company put in social networks the need of the reaffirmation of the law, after this, uh, the actual government put a new resolution that opened the legal head market. Actually, the medical cannabis business 
and market exists in Colombia. Exists, yes, it's real. Yes. yes. But the but the head market need this law. Uh, this law that is public uh, yesterday, uh, I think. Yesterday. Yes. Uh, open open the industrial uses of the cannabis or hemp, and this is a um, advantage for the Colombian market. Well, I must congratulate the Colombian people because <clears throat> hemp is the tool for independence. Hemp can help the any country, third world countries, to be uh, self um, uh, independent on biodiesel. We can compete with textile. We can basically grow for for building homes. So the um, the opportunities are endless. Um, people such as yourself with engineering career, with, with uh, well-educated helps to put the stigma down. One of the dreams that we have in this upcoming uh, Cumbre Latinoamericana del Cañamo, which is the Latin American summit for him, is to express our deep thoughts that is uh, very important for our countries to, to understand that we don't want to be the typical past story where we just grow cheap and then the industrialized countries use the products and they just become rich and while the Latin American countries become poorer. That is not what we want. What we want is to have the technology available for every single use in this upcoming era. This is my thinking. And once again, I congratulate the people of Colombia for this achievement. Thank you. Yes. And I was born in the border of Venezuela and Colombia, so I feel this as myself. <laughs> Venezuela and Colombia is the same nation. Yes, exactly right. Under one flag and their one father. <laughs> With the same religion and craziness in the same head. <laughs> <laughs> Javier, if you had the, an opportunity to send a message to the decision makers in regards to these new upcoming events, what would you tell them? Okay, for the decision makers in the in the political and the business decision, I say that uh, it's very important that all the cannabis or hemp projects start science legal seed. The legal seed uh, take the, gar the warrant for, for, the, for the growers uh, about uh, production, cannabinoids, and genetic. Mm. Many people in the world, in the, in the countries that allow it, start a cannabis or hemp business. But in the Colombian, in the Colombian case, uh, all the companies, uh, it's uh, committed to uh, re reduce it your strains. This process, uh, can, can, can see this process with any recruitment more, but not true. In this case, for the decision makers is a absolutely important that start your projects, science, legal, and juristic seed. This is the first step for have a, a high quality crop. This is fantastic. I congratulate you once again. You're very young. Have you, how old are you, if I may? I have 37 years old. How old are you? 37 years old. 37. 37. Very young, my brother. I'll be 60 in the next four weeks. <laughs> 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 so you have a long way ahead, my brother, and so much to do for, for the world. This is not just a Colombian cause anymore. This is for everyone. I am very happy for this interview, my brother. Um, I do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank um, you. Mr. Javier. I hope I see you this coming. I hope no. You're a featured speaker for this uh, upcoming 
uh, Hemp Seeds uh, Expo, 18 of March, where you are going to extend your, your knowledge and share your light with everyone. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you for you. And uh, you can come with my knowledge, my experience for the, for the all uh, public to Hem Seeds Expo. In Hem Seeds Expo, I'm going to speak about the production of dry flower, uh, dry flower for CBD, for THC. This is a little bit uh, the, the, the space and the, and the, big, the big bone for the, for the exposition is to speak about the land race and the process of registration of uh, strains, uh, of cannabis strains. Extraordinary, my man. Thank you once again on behalf of yes. engineering.